Okay, next let's hide this this TP. Uh, I'm gonna copy this, make a copy and put it down here, and change the name to others. And I want you to open up this and delete uh, all except the first two cutting process. Delete it. Right click, delete. Yes. And I'll change this to uh, um, cut. Okay. So here I'm going to explain how to use the parallel cut option uh, in Sigma for 2.5x. Uh, the default. Just now we we only go through the spiral, and now I'm going to show you where the parallel cut here. Parallel cut. Parallel cut is so su su suitable for non-metal material. Uh, I would say some some of the non-metal materials, some plastic, uh, it will be very efficient to machine in a parallel cut. Um, let's go to the motion parameters and the clearance is same. Yeah, nothing different. The entry point you can uh, ask the system to auto optimize entry point. So. So that uh, all the entry will punch into the same point, and later on you select the point to make a drill. So on the shop floor, you drill the hole before you rough this part. If you do that, is uh, optimized. And you can also uh, specify where where where's the hole, you know, where's the entry point, and the tool will punch into that hole. So now I, I will use auto for now. Front, mid front size, let's put zero. And boundary offset, yeah, we have 0.5 for the finishing. Uh, contour offset rough, okay. Uh, I'm going to talk about this later. And we're going to machine from zero to minus nine, same down step. And the side step, no, normally for parallel cut, most of the time you, you would like to use 70% uh, of the cutter or more. And uh, of course, not more than 100%. Uh, the best is 70%. And you have option to cut one direction or bi directions. Bi directions is two way. One direction is one way. Uh, I I would choose the. Let's say I would choose the one direction first. Yeah. If you choose one directions, then you have the option to, uh, to connect the column pass or next pass. Look at the picture you understand, yeah? So you connect the column pass, that means after the cutter plunge into the material machine the first uh first line and go back, it will plunge into the uh empty empty space. Okay, and then cut into the material again. So that uh, the two always plunge into the Area that you already machined. Now look at the picture, you understand. Uh, the next pass, uh, this is not good because the tool is always plunged into the materials. I will select, I will suggest to go for a column pass if you want to use one direction. A million angle, yeah. Do you see this? The big arrow, big arrow is where the cutter will start machine and the small is where it will end. And the direction is shown by the arrow. This is this is zero. I can change forty-five and look at the direction of the arrow, and the machining will be in forty-five degree. Uh, most of the time, if you use a parallel cut, I would suggest to use either zero to ninety degree uh, because uh, this is good. Why? Because uh, only one axis is moving. If you use forty-five, two axis is moving x and y. That is not uh, so good. Of course, you can do that if you want. Um, yeah, in case you want to flip the start starting side, you can do that. Just click the flip. It will flip. You can flip the arrow to change the starting side of the machining. Yeah, and um, that's all. Then cal calculate. Right, this is machining by unit directions. Parallel cut. Okay. I'm going to use the navigator to show. Let's hide this. All machining you can see is moving one direction, right? Okay. So of course, uh, jumping you cannot avoid because you 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 
you need the one directions right okay now I'm going to change back to by directions because this is the most uh, most time most of the time you use by directions for cut and calculate right this is a cut I'm going to show you the simulator okay now this is a parallel cut okay so because I'm using auto entry point you always punch into this location so before the wrapping process uh, you just create a hole over here by drilling okay in parallel cut we got one problem as is this scallop right the scallop will build up okay build up as you cutting uh, deeper and deeper and deeper okay this is not good for our finishing process okay for finishing we need a constant stop not like this so to solve this problem or to, or to remove away the scallop how i show you uh, what you do, need to do is just go to the motion parameter again we will use this mill finish pass mill finish pass then just on it right and of course on it uh, for the contour wrap offset you need to put some offset okay if you don't uh, put offset you put zero then when cutting the the, the last last round the last pass cutting the scale up the cutter will will engage the material when cutting the scale up and disengage after the scale up this is bad for the cutter so I would suggest to put uh, some some offset so that when the cutter cut the last last round the scale up, uh, at least the cutter will have one mm material engage. Okay, let me calculate and let me simulate again. Okay, here you are. So after each layer, the cutter will go and cut the scale up. And the cutter will have at least one M engage. And you can see very clearly here. Okay, I'm going to show you again. Let, let's slow it down. You see here, we got one M in a material at least. This is the contour offset round. So that the cutter will have always at least one M MM engage. Right. This is the parallel cut. Let me finish it. Yeah. There you are. Let me clean finish. Okay. In case uh, you are wondering why my the wall is so nice okay my simulation the wall is so nice and your simulation is not uh, this is because I'm using the uh, 5x stock 5x stock if I change to 3x and again restart I will drag this bar to go to the end right so if you have if you use a 3x stop this is what what will happen especially at those 90 degree wall you have uh, this kind of uh, jagged edges okay yeah of course the simulation speed for the 3x stop will be much much more faster than the 5x stop okay and again if you don't like this and you can wait why not you can go to 5x stop uh, restart this everything and let's fast forward right and you have the very nice surface okay this is cutscene if you cannot see here see this cutscene here you can go to the setting and window on it on this icon and you, you can get this this page okay now I'm going to explain the uh, function of optimizer rapid motion down check okay so I'm going to copy this process here and okay
shall rename this the rapid check. Okay. So now let's say now I'm going to machine the the uh, uh, top of this machine. I'm going to machine from minus nine to minus nineteen now. So I will add in the this extra control now. The three islands I'll add in. Okay. And I will change the minus nine to minus nineteen the floor. Okay. The setting I will use the same setting as just now. And okay, this time I'm going to purposely on the increment clear of one mm. Okay, and calculate. And you should have the message. Just click yes to calculate. And I'm going to show you the cutting motions. You can see uh, the clear is now incremental, not absolute. In one mm inc increment from the last positions. And immediately I can see here this rapid motion is, is, is gouging the part. If you don't believe me, I'll show, the, show you the simulations. Okay, let's see. Now it looks okay. Let me make it faster. Uh, is it gouging is here? Red color gouging, rapid motion gouging. Yeah, there's a big problem. Why? Because of the clear. Okay, all because of this clear, incremental clear is gouging the part. So, what happened? If, if you make a, uh, if you need to make a uh, 2.5x two, two program and you want an incremental clear and a safe one. So, if, if, if you do want that, I would suggest you go and uh, use the optimizer. That's why uh, just now I give you a message as you would go for an optimizer. Here you can put a safe distance, checking distance, and a safe diameter. This is including the holder and on the rapid motion gauge check and rapid motion option. You have three options: up or up and down, or to clear. If you don't know what is this, just press F1. Okay, Simatron have a very good help always. You see here, up, yeah, up only fast motion, which are below the safe distance will move upward to the safe distance. This is the one that you want. Okay, the rest no need. So I'm going to change to up only and just calculate. And you can see uh, the system will automatically check the uh, cutting motions and automatically will move the rapid above the, the the material, the stock. Right. Now I will show you the simulation again. Here's the simulations. You can see now there's uh, uh, no more gouging of the island. Now it's beautiful. Okay. So, in summary, if you use incremental clear, don't forget to use the optimizer rapid gauge check.